it's kind of nuanced, I think, when we're business owners, and I can really only speak for myself as a practitioner in business, and what happened for me was when my boundaries weren't as robust and flexible and clear as they are now, my client load, my business stayed small. And there's this really fascinating interplay, I think, when you, when I look back on it now, because I was, I found it more difficult to say no then, I subconsciously kept the gates closed in terms of new people, new clients reaching out to me. Because there was a subconscious kind of well, if all of these people come in and want to work with me, I'm not going to be able to say no. I'm going to have to take on all that work and that is going to overwhelm me. I'm not going to be able to handle that level of work. I subconsciously kept things small and hidden, like keeping the gates closed, right? 